So, ladies and mostly gentlemen, welcome back. For those who don't know, Warzone Mobile was officially revealed yesterday, and today let's talk about that. To be exact, we're gonna give you guys everything that was confirmed, correct some misinformation, and also talk about stuff that you may have missed from watching that stream. First of all, let's start it off easy and go with everything that was confirmed. The main thing and the first thing that was confirmed that it's gonna be on Verdance. That is the legendary Warzone map. The first time Warzone was released, it was on Verdant, so I'm excited about that. The map looks exactly the same, so that's going to be absolutely hype. Next up, it's going to be up to 120 people, and they said it was going to be no bots. I do want to clarify that it is most likely going to have some bots, but it's going to be substantially less than other games you have played. Just because having some bots is, it makes sense. You know, you can't have a game with no bots. It's not realistic. You have to have some way to kind of manage the in between having long queues and having the quick queues somewhere in between. What I do like about Warzone Mobile, it has that lobby or even just Warzone in general, it has that lobby where you can kill people. So that can kind of alleviate the kind of wait time so that people can kind of shoot around and wait while they're in queue. That could be really useful. So having less amount of bots could be realistic, but not having any would not be realistic at all. So Warzone Mobile will not be cross-platform. That means you won't be able to play against PC or console player ever. It will be cross-progression, which means anytime you play in Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2, you will have the same progression. That means your gun grinding, your gunsmith, your battle pack, your skill, Skins will be the same progression and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit later speaking of skins and camels there is currently a pre-registration bonus so if you get the 5 million pre-registered player we're gonna get I think it's like sprays and avatars and stuff like that nothing crazy but if you get the 10 million pre-registered we will get a blueprint for a pistol and at 15 million we will get a m4 blueprint and the best part is at 25 million they will give a mystery reward which i'm assuming is going to be a free operator that is going to be very nice so if you haven't yet make sure to pre-register but honestly i think we're already at 25 million and finally warzone mobile is confirmed to release in 2023 we are not sure if it's going to be early or later in 2023 but if i had to guess it's going to be closer to that middle to the end of the year release but don't quote me on that that's just what i am guessing Oh, um, f future future hitman here. Just want to mention that that finishers are also in the game. Yes, you can uh, finish someone while they are not. And um, I believe you can also finish someone from the back. So yes, finishers are, are back. Yeah. All right. So now that we got everything that was confirmed out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about stuff you may have missed that was not confirmed for say but i'm fairly certain it's gonna be in the game so number one let's talk about gunsmith now gunsmith was not shown in any of the warzone mobile gameplay that you saw but we can fairly confidently say it's gonna be in the game not only that i am fairly certain it's gonna be the gunsmith you're gonna get from the new model warfare 2 you are not gonna be getting the old school gunsmith because it's gonna be cross progression what that means is that you can actually start grinding for this before and continue on into warzone mobile since warzone mobile is most likely to be released a few months later we're going to be going more in depth into gunsmith because it deserves its own video but the main thing is that it is one only five attachment which if you play cod mobile is pretty much the same but if you play the old war zone it's going to be completely different because old war zone had 10 attachments so five is going to be good another cool feature is that you can literally turn your ak-47 into a rus or aks the attachments are super unique Again, we're going to explain it in another video. We're going to go more in depth about the gunsmith because I believe it's going to be one of the unique systems that can be used in not just, you know, Warzone Mobile, but in all Modern Warfare as well as Warzone 2. Speaking of attachments, this is definitely something that's more towards the aesthetic section. So anytime we have guns blueprints, the skin is for the gun specifically. However, because of how gunsmith is going to work, there's going to be skins for each attachment. So having, let's say a legendary attachment for like the stock and then having a nice like magazine. So you can make this Frankenstein build. This was basically confirmed in Modern Warfare and Warzone more or less. 
but we haven't seen any footage, so that's something I'm super excited about. And finally, something you may have missed that I think is probably the most important is the fact that mobile will be getting exclusive events and also potentially exclusive operators and skins. And you're probably wondering why is this so important? Because of the cross progression. I'm curious if these characters slash operators slash skin will also go into your account if you go into Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, meaning that players who are playing on console and PC will have a reason to play on mobile, bringing in more crowd. And that is huge because although not cross platform, you have all these players coming in from other platforms just to bring in that audience. And I think that's absolutely cool. And I think that's a smart idea. So that's gonna be everything that I have found, but keep in mind, this is still in alpha. So a lot of this can change before the launch. Matter of fact, some of this might even change by the beta. However, I love the direction that Warzone Mobile is going towards. Everything that we saw looks absolutely fantastic, and I'm sure it's going to improve. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys might predict can come out as well. And if I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to see my live reaction to the stream, click this video right here, and I'll see you guys next time. Um, in the back. <laughs>